Hey guys, it's the man team. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Civ 4. And I actually haven't advanced the game at all since the last part. Um, I had something else I had to take care of while I was compressing audio, so we can get right back to where we left off with a small stack of cannons and grenadiers coming up on me, and while I'm going after them. So yeah, we've made some headway into Montezuma's land in the last part, and the uh, you know the tides of this war. Well, I don't really want to say they're turning. I was kind of edgy from the start. But at this point, his production capabilities are uh, getting chopped down. Uh, we're actually very even in cities, uh, with me having a production advantage in terms of having the factories and coal plants available to me, as well as coal, which, again, I emphasize, I had to go over here and settle for it, because, uh, well, not settle for it, capture a barb city to get it, because I did not have it in my lands naturally, although I do now that I killed off Augustus Caesar. But yeah, I have a production advantage despite this being Emperor because I have uh, factories and coal, while Montezuma has probably only forges. So uh, his Emperor bonuses probably are not allowing him to one per turn units. And uh, if you look at my heroic epic city, I mean, look at this, this is sick. The tank only costs 180 hammers, and I'm getting plus 200%, 200% on military units on uh, 72. So I actually have enough production to one per turn any military unit I can possibly uh, want to build, with the exception of maybe uh, tactical nukes, although I could produce those pretty quickly as well. And uh, it'll be fun to fling those around. Uh, maybe if I don't have enough domination pop or land or something, and I am catching up to Monty there as well soon, um, you know, maybe I'll throw a bunch of ICBMs on Charlemagne to cap him and end the game that way. That's always fun to do. All right. Lots of kills, not very many deaths there. I lost another worker in the between turns, so that's kind of lame. And yeah, he inflicted a lot of collateral damage, but he didn't really kill any units. So uh, that's kind of in the story of him uh, ever since that first fight where he actually did inflict some decent casualties on me. Ever since that one, though, less so. Oh man, this is my Combat 4 tank that I can build right away, despite having no military traits at all. Although the advantages of financial have some merit on their own. Let's grab a tank here. Where's my uh, transport? Okay. It's one tank. I, I think I have some left over up here. Yeah. I only need like three or four. I think four is good. And these cities, not really important to me. If the AI snipes them, I'll just take them back and production automate them again. Really not putting a lot of effort into this. And yeah, I've been having some of my micro mistakes kind of criticized, and feel free to do that. I'm not going to improve it materially while I'm playing on YouTube because, well, I, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to stay up with that and still talk about what I'm doing and everything. However, um, it's worth noting, like, I should have built an academy in one of my cottage cities instead of settling the scientists in London. It would have been <coughs> a lot stronger of a play, even now. I mean, you look at my. Uh, research actually York has more uh, research than London, despite London having Oxford. So that's just an example, and that would have helped me out. So yeah, I mean, when you give advice like that, I do learn, and you know, although I learn slowly because I play games quickly and don't really pay attention, eventually I get a heuristic set up to where uh, I do play a little bit better as a result of advice. So I do appreciate the advice, and yeah, it's nice, uh, especially since there's not a lot of other like high-level games for me to learn from on YouTube, which I would love. I'm still waiting on those, but uh, yeah, not a lot, unfortunately. Is that what helped me so much as a rookie player to see you know, like one of the, the great forum DD players uh, post some games on YouTube? But no, no one wants to do it. So, or not that they don't want to, but you know, just it hasn't. No one's made it happen yet. Is I guess how I should say it. And I would love to see it. Love, love, love to see it. I mean, he has competition for my channel, but I'm really not worried about that. I mean, most people don't watch Let's Plays um, solely for skill. And, you know, there's a lot of people who follow multiple people on YouTube. So, I, rather than competition, I'd rather just see more people bringing good material to YouTube. You know, kind of kind of grow it as a phenomenon in general, I guess I should say. As opposed to having a monopoly on the high level Civ 4 games. Which, as far as I know, I still do. Uh, some people have done Civ 5, 
And there's been a couple LPs of Civ 4, but rarely does somebody actually finish a game. And it's really unfortunate. Hello, sorry about that. A little bit of a pause break there. Uh, just That was just my sister-in-law knocking in the door, letting me know that she's headed to the gym and that... Um, well, I'm playing house sitter for a guy who's painting some of the rooms because I don't have to go into work today until this afternoon. So, yeah, just let me know, let me know that I'm going to be the only one here for a little bit. He went out to get something too, so whatever. Anyways, uh, back to the game. I have no idea what I was talking about, even though it was only about 30 seconds ago. Because that's the way I roll. So, oh yeah, about uh, YouTube and uh, people casting games. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to see it. As simple as that. Anyway, let's see what Montezuma has to do with... Uh, I think he's wanting to give me German cities, which obviously isn't going to be useful to me. Let's keep bombarding that city and get these tanks on a boat. Looks like that all the way till next turn. And... Yeah, I can move these bombers up. And now that I have coverage on this city, thanks to the infantry, I can move up. And yeah, as you can see, just less and less and less uh, resistance from the Aztecs. Practically no resistance from the other AI. So this is kind of uh, wrapping up now, which is... that's fine. We can get to the next forum game then. Why not? Ecology, now I can scrub Fallout if I do bother with nukes, I doubt I will. And notice just now I'm getting a little bit of unhappiness. Uh, <laughs> actually have quite a bit of surplus happiness uh, from the mass media wonders, or not the mass media wonders, but from radio or whatever. And so again, I can just, you know, put one little thing into culture and that'll, that'll probably be good enough. And yeah, now they have machine guns which can intercept bombers, but they don't do a lot of damage. They don't have a very high interception rate, and they really don't do jack to tanks, so yeah. Same as always, just plow through with tanks. Sooner or later, Montezuma's land advantage is going to go away. I think I need to capture this city and his capital, and then uh, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, now that I have those texts, I mean, what do I go for? Um, if I were going space, I'd probably want to go through to superconductors, and uh, you know, maybe you know, no one's actually going to have enough tech for me to benefit from the internet. But, you know, superconductors, genetics, increase the health in my city, increase the science from the research labs, whatever. But I think in this case, I think let's go with refrigeration, get a little bit of extra naval movement, which is kind of irrelevant. But I don't need anything else, and I have all the tanks I need to put this game away. So I'm not worried. I can just do whatever at this point. And maybe I want to send these tanks over to Tanakhalin right away. And just have this backup set of tanks take out this city. I think that's what I'll do. Um, throw a little bit of collateral on there. And board with these tanks onto my transport. I'm transporting goods. And yeah, I'll bring some destroyers along. And yes, I know, I should have put uh, flank 2 on, or not flank 2, but navigation on the transport, but I just took combat. I don't care. It's I, I'm not really going to be shipping any major amounts, so I don't. It doesn't really matter what I take. I can take anything. I could take mass flanking and nothing else, and it wouldn't matter because that's about all I'm using the transport for. It's just taking that one city, so that I can duck war wariness and Viking culture problems. Hmm. Actually, I could probably press that city next turn. Uh, grab some infantry, not too many, don't want to expose that city beyond uh, what I need to do. And leave some tanks behind. Oh, hello. Oh, it's all navy, and like, cruddy navy at that. I saw a lot of units there, and I was worried for just a moment until I realized how much the AI tech still sucks. Ha. Huh. And yes, I have jumped Montezuma in score. Taking away their cities tends to do that. Your score increases, theirs drops. And yeah, that only ends well when you're the uh, aggressor. <laughs> but only when you're the aggressor. Anyway, yeah, I've bombarded this down. A little bit of collateral. Really don't need too much. Um, I can put more collateral there, but I think I'm more interested in taking the land 
from Montezuma than I am from picking off that Viking city. Although I can't, well, I can't reach it. So I think I'll just use these tanks this turn to take the city and then move the bombers up. That'll be a decent, decent thing to do. Go, 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 go. Kill, 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 kill. And yes. Yet another city swept by the tanks. I mean, they're, they're so weak. They don't even have anti-tanks right now. And yeah, you can see the Viking revolts are already starting. So that's a little bit of an issue. And that's why... These guys move already? Yeah. That's why I just want to kill the Vikings off and avoid any trouble. Make Adrian Peterson fumble again, maybe. Man, they were terrible in football in this year, all well, the 2011 season. Man, were they terrible. Okay, well, like I said, I captured that city, so move the bombers up. Oh, I had more bombers to move up, too. Um, these guys can just bombard and bombard. And if I have more bombers, I can shift even more over. Of course, I lost the tank. Of course. Not that it really makes a big difference. Man, these vassals are so lame. Why did Montezuma just steamroll everybody? Like, I'm still trying to figure out what happened. Why did he just dominate them so obscenely? Let's see, uh, can you reach? Can you? Yeah, okay. Heal up my tanks a little, please. And yeah, those guys can rest for a turn, too. Uh, one more set of collateral on this city, and I should be able to take it with the tanks this turn and avoid at least some of the culture press from him. There we go. Just a little bit of extra micro to avoid extra hassle. Cut the defenses down and got another set of tanks. Not too many, but probably enough to deal with the rifles, especially since there's no major stacks walking around any longer. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to walk over there with some of my tanks. Um, yeah, you were bombarding that. You were bombarding that. And I can actually inflict a little bit of collateral here. And since I'm not doing anything else with the bombers, the, the tanks down there, I'll use that this turn. So many combat four tanks. Kind of fun. And yeah, next turn I'll be able to yoink Montezuma's capital away, despite him still having three vassals. Excellent. Um, that city might be nice to take too. And I, you know what? I'm going to upgrade a couple guys for it. Now that I have a more secure source of coal available to me, uh, I can risk sending a couple guys out and capturing it. Plus then that island will be entirely mine. We'll make a colony. Haha. <laughs> no. Colonies aren't the best in this game because the AI is so stupid. Ooh. Hello. I took some pretty heavy losses here. I did get a guy up to combat 5. Apparently de Gaulle still has some semblance of military forces. Uh, really nothing I'm too worried about, but yeah, he did he did a little bit of damage. I can respect. He's going to force me to play defense an extra round. But, uh, you know, not a lot I can do about that. I'll just have to take the lumps, so to speak. Uh, these bombers probably... Or do I some over here? Okay, these guys can inflict the collateral I need on this city. So these guys can go here, and that maybe also have the other bombard or something. You really don't need a lot of collateral before you start beating rifles with tanks. You know, just a little bit. Uh, tanks with like 100% uh, rifles with 100% defenses can fight on par with tanks, or sort of, and cause you to lose a lot more than you want to. But once you damage them below like 10 strength, you get just awesome odds, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, like see, I'm getting 99.9% .9 odds here. And that's the kind of odds you like when you are spamming the AI with units. Still the master of three. Um, the Gaul can break free now, and I don't know if he'll capitulate right away. He probably should, but he probably won't, knowing this game. That's about all I'd say about that. Cat mechanics are terrible in this game, and I will keep saying that until it changes, which will probably be never.
Okay, let's go check out what is defending the barbarian city. I bet it is rifles, because most of the AI have rifles. And the barbs tend to follow the pattern of the AI. Ooh, the holy city of Judaism. Very nice. That would be a nice uh, trophy to add to my shelf. Let's go get it. Did I have any bombers anywhere? Oh, I, was, I used them, though. Oh, well. Uh. Yeah, is he still ahead of me on land? He actually is still ahead of me on land, although that will not be true after border pops, and I am clearly ahead on population now. So I am doing very well. And they are running out of time to pick up any tech to save them. Losing yet more workers to automation, absolutely. It's you know, it's not a Civ game if your workers don't throw themselves away in stupid areas. I, I wanna see. I wanna see where that worker died. I just wanna know. Yeah, I mean, why are they here? This city's still in revolt. It's within reach of enemy units, which you could physically see. I mean, they, that knight came from, like, right here. Right here where I could see it. So why was my worker there? Why did it die? Uh, because this game's coding is god-awful. You know, if it weren't a deep game strategically, it really would be pretty bad. And, uh, unfortunately, that's kind of what happened in Civ Five. Although, eh, I still play Civ Five from time to time. And uh, hopefully it improves, uh, or at least its user interface improves, or something. You know, maybe my uh, siege units won't move when they're ordered to do a ranged attack, or something. Something like that. Ooh, De Gaulle is broken free. Do you want to capitulate? No. <sighs> Didn't I go through this already? This is yet another reason why the capitulation mechanics are absolutely garbage. He's afraid of my enemies. Um, that, that would be the guy that he just broke free from. I'm here. My enemies are here. He's there. He is barely weaker than Montezuma. And I have like around triple his power. Maybe more because this lags a little bit. And I mean, what the hell? He won't capitulate to me because he's afraid of the guy who's been getting his entire capital and you know territory worked. Really? Is that really the game about this game we're going? Yes, it is, and it always does this. <sighs> this game could be so frustrating in that regard. Get over there, and uh, these guys can be back up for this city. Actually, there's a rifle there. I'll just pick that off. I mean, you know, regardless of the shenanigans, I'm still doing pretty well, I gotta say, so, I mean, whatever. Keep my medic there. Oh yeah, I had some extra tanks. These guys can go down and take out the Vikings. Oh no, they're still longbows, so that city will be pretty easy to take. Assuming that Charlemagne doesn't snipe it after I kill two of them or something. Whoa! Lots and lots and lots of stuff happening there. Um, most of it's just uh, spies and stuff. I had some guys attack me right here. Uh, that's nothing really to be concerned about, though. I can just uh, pick these off with relative ease. Even threaten another city on the following turn. Let's uh, beat that up. Can these guys reach? No. More bombers coming in. Did he capitulate yet? No, because he's doing fine on his own. He thinks that this right here, none of these cities belonging to him are, you know, are yeah, that's fine. You know, that's that's good to Monty. Losing all your cities? Thumbs up for losing all your cities, Montezuma. You're definitely doing fine on your own, you frickin' moron. But the reason he feels that way, and the only reason he won't capitulate to me, is because he still has these two, like, complete scrubs as vassals. And that counts for something. Apparently, like he gets a big multiplier on that rather than just like adding their power. He gets this huge ass multiplier and he's comparing his uh, power average to the world power average, or his, he's comparing his power to the world average. And because there's so many of these completely worthless, you know, brain dead morons down here, he feels like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm better than the average empire in the world, so I'm doing fine on my own. But he isn't doing better than the average. And, um, the, the average. But the only reason, because I'm bragging the average very high, the only reason he won't capitulate is because he has these vassals, he's getting a modifier, like a multiplier, on his power that's pushing him over the average. 
So even though I've captured his capital, I've killed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, well, probably not hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, but yeah, I've killed hundreds of units. Most of these are his, I mean, maybe like 50 or 60 belong to somebody else. So I've killed like 300 plus units. I've lost around 50. He still thinks he's doing fine because, well, herp derp, he is a master of a vassal, and that's all it takes. But nope, nope, forum will tell you, uh, capitulation mechanics aren't broken, no, nope, they're not broken. Definitely not broken. Maybe I can find that. <laughs> let's do it, let's go, let's go find the, uh, the guy who's insisting that capitulation mechanics are not broken. I always love this. Um, peace vassal, peace vassals, there we go, how do they work? Yeah. If you want, uh, you can just pause the video. These are some other things that have happened. Some of them have happened in my Let's Plays. Some of them have not happened in my Let's Plays, but have happened in offline games. These are all true stories, and they are nowhere near the problems that I've uh, run into and with Vassal States. It's almost every game, one way or another. And, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, if I edited my videos and didn't record live, I would edit in a huge, huge sign signaling you fail, because that's terrible. That's all I can say. <laughs> Just unloved, you say. Well, maybe there's a reason it's unloved. That's, that's all I can say to that to that comment. Maybe there's just a small reason why the you know, vassal mechanics are not loved. And maybe it's because they don't work as intended. The, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> I mean, sure, they work better than the user interface because they actually do something. You know, they're just badly designed. But and when you're talking about the gaming sense of something being broken, as in like completely unbalanced and stupid, they certainly fit the bill. There's no, there's no arguing with that. Uh, but, you know, abusing them can, uh, you can also abuse them positively, although I don't think that makes for a better game either. Uh, for example, Montezuma picked up these vassals really easily because of the land target rule. The land target rule, you get a multiplier in your favor, similar to how you get these guys who don't want to capitulate because they have vassals. You get a multiplier in your favor for having a quote-unquote war ally that has eight tiles of border with your uh, capitulation opponent. So uh, what Montezuma was getting here, and what have I, what I have abused in other games, is to capitulate a weakish sieve that's on the border of a bigger sieve, and because of the land target rule, um, be able to uh, capitulate the bigger sieve then by just declaring on it and letting it enter my vassal's territory, and then killing all its units there. Often that alone is enough to get the capitulation, which is just crazy because otherwise they would like never capitulate but now just because you have a really crappy ally who actually won't do anything uh, sitting in their borders or, or uh, yeah sitting not near their borders they're gonna capitulate instantly and without hesitation again um, that, that kinda suggests that the mechanics you know a little bit broken but uh, you know that's to the humans advantage instead of disadvantage so pick your poison. I mean, there's there's broken ways that it's good and bad, and you know, in my opinion, it really just needs to be reworked. But they won't because they've got the new game out, and the new game has plenty of its own problems. So we'll just have to work with it instead of four or like fan patches or something. I don't know. Anyway, I uh, capture this barb city and uh, capture a worker and just leave that as it is. Can I take this? I probably can't, but I'm gonna kill some units. Killing units is fun. I'm surprised I didn't lose anything there. I had a lot of 80% battles. And usually if you string out like 5 or 6 80% uh, battles, well not usually, you are odds on to lose some units if you're stringing out that many. But uh, yeah, I got a little bit lucky there. It's nice to get some luck along with the unluck. Alright, so what do you think now? Still doing fine on his own. Uh, now he's willing to give up his own cities though, rather than just random AI cities. So he's definitely realizing that he's losing. And uh, maybe if I beat down Montezuma enough, uh, the Gaul will actually be stronger and will capitulate. We'll see. If you look at the demographics now, I am blowing them out in soldiers. Yeah, rival average. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> I mean, four times the average. More than four times.
They are still trying to spam me with inferior troops, and I am still owning them. Because they do not have enough of those inferior troops to actually do anything of consequence. And yeah, just whatever. Ouch, I took a lot of damage there though. That's alright, there's always more tanks. This is I have a huge production lead. And the pink eye zone, but I really don't need to do anything with that unless uh, he's a question for me or something. Something along those lines. Anyways, uh, how am I doing here? Can I kill off the Vikings? Can I do it? I cannot. You fail! It's a good sign. I should, I should have something that I can just do that live. Just have it flash on the screen. You fail. And probably be used on myself most of the time, but <laughs> well, that has its pluses and minuses too. I can call myself out for sucking it up sometimes. I certainly have from time to time in my Heroes 3 Let's Play, I'll, I'll tell you that. I'm getting a lot of good advice there, at least, though. Like, I think that I'm already a better player than I ever was, just from the amount of YouTube channel comments I've had critiquing my play. It is crazy. You guys are helping me out a lot with that. Fishing boats? Oh, up here. Oh, well, whatever. I'm not going to pretend, uh, I'm not going to protect all these random seafoods in captured cities. I don't want to micromanage my captured cities. They're not going to contribute much before the game ends. Alright, uh, more bombers. Just soften this stuff up a lot. <laughs> Their combat 5 tank. I love the really high combat tanks like this. It's fun. Yeah, more catapults, more trebuchets, a couple cannons. It's actually some combined arms in here. As uh, DeGaulle had a unit or two I just saw as well. And absolutely nothing that I can't handle. So, just another city capture. I'm going to bring my medic out. I, he's really not going to do much defensively there anyway. And, oh, this city's max damaged. Alright then, let's uh, snuff out the Vikings. That should affect both, uh, that should affect everything actually. What does Bismarck have to say? Oh, Bismarck uh, quit the war. And he's not afraid of my enemies. Oh wow. Montezuma won't capitulate. Oh no, oh, I see. I did do enough damage to Montezuma to get him the cap, or to uh, get these guys to be willing to cap by killing people they're scared of. Alright, well, in the interest of time and whatever, I'll just take these capitulations. And uh, what's going to happen now is that Montezuma is going to be willing to capitulate also because of the land target rule. And I don't want your city, stupid city. There you go, I just made the whole world my, uh, yeah. You can finish that sentence for me if you want. Probably after border pops I'll get domination. However, um, just in case that doesn't happen, I have a contingency plan. And this is like the best contingency plan ever. Yeah. All my cities that were producing something other than ICBMs are now going to produce ICBMs. And I'll rush by some. I'll see if I can't get a capitulation on Charlemagne or something. Uh, I think I said in my Justinian Let's Play, but I'll say it here too. Uh, nukes are a fixed 10 war success. They count for 10 war success. So um, that's about the same as capturing a city, or rather it is the same as capturing a city. So if you fling a bunch of nukes on an AI and they don't kill a single unit of yours, they are frequently willing to talk on the immediate following turn. And uh, if you have massive power lead like this, they're frequently willing to capitulate. I don't think I can pull that off before I win domination, but you know I might keep the video on and just show it off because it's fun. You know, nuke strictly uh, ICBM based capping is that's just fun, you know. So I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna station these tanks in these border cities because uh, you know sufficient forces. You're not going to get any uh, revolts that way, and everything else doesn't have enemy culture in it, so. Uh, I'll have full control over all of my cities without any problems. I wonder if I capture the Kremlin. I bet no one's even built the Kremlin. Get a couple ICBMs. I'll have four next turn. Nope. And yeah, rapidly climbing here. I really want to get Conquest. And I'm just going to skip turn with the ICBMs so I don't have to go hunting for them later. Um, yeah. I probably don't even need to skip turn. I could probably just click on the end turn button. 
Yes, Ben 10 isn't awesome. He's the leader of the Apostolic Palace for now and forever, and I could probably win AP that way just by spreading the religion to Charlemagne. <laughs> I love the heroic epic in Ironwork Cities with Mining Ink, especially since it's a legitimately boosted Mining Ink now, like plus 15 hammer from Mining Ink alone, plus 6 from Sushi, eh, that's not great, but plus 15 hammers for Mining Ink is pretty good. And I'll just end turn. Okay, how am I doing on ICBM spam and on culture? I uh, might need to make something happen this turn. I do have 8 ICBMs. That's enough for Nuka City, and then, you know, maybe the twice over on this capital. Yep, let's do it. Uh, nuke. Nuke. Oh, we gotta turn the effects on. <laughs> Although it might need a game restart, so I might not do it. But yeah, I don't need to have my settings that low that you guys can't see the nuke animations. That's that's unreasonable. Uh, let's see here. Graphics. Um, we're going to move it up to medium. Yeah, okay, fine. Unfortunately, uh you're not going to you're not going to see the nukes unfortunately. Uh maybe in a future LP. But even so, uh, we still got to launch them and that's still fun. So, yeah, let's let's knock some stuff around. Cause them some troubles. <laughs> this is the low effort way. That way I don't have to build a bunch of ships and go over there. Um, yeah, you can just be settled in the Iron Work City. I don't really want to deal with you. Just a couple more nukes. This is going to cause massive global warming in a time where otherwise we would not be seeing any. <laughs> but who cares? That Al Gore nonsense is desert fairy magic anyway. <laughs> well, I've already spoken my piece about that in the Justinian Let's Play, where I really fired a lot of nukes. <laughs> and the global warming was obscene. Just obscene in that game. If you want to see a world ruined by global warming, well, it's play marathon, but that's the closest you'll get on normal. I fired so many nukes. Do I have any ICBMs left? Oh no, I did only have enough for one per city. Well, uh, that's still 80 war success without any war success for him against me. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll get lucky and I can cap him next turn. I might get over the population requirement anyway. I hope I don't, because I at least have a chance at conquest then. It'll be a tie. It'll be a double victory if I get that. Okay, I'm not going up that quickly. Uh, he wants to talk already? Yes. He'll capitulate already? Yes. Very fun. <laughs> so I do get to throw around some nukes. I love nukes. Nukes are good. Nukes are awesome in Civ. And yeah, just automate some stuff. It really doesn't matter. I that's you know, every single Civ in the game is my vassal or dead outright. So that, that's gonna be a good game. <laughs> Either conquest or domination. The game's just gonna pick between the two because I've eliminated all my rivals into vassals or killed them. But I've also tripped the uh, domination requirements. Wow, that's pretty sad because that only counts for half if you're a vassal. And uh, let's let's check out the final tech picture. Okay, seriously. Um, here, no, screw you. I want all the techs. Well, those open borders too. There we go. I am the undisputed tech leader. <laughs> And uh, that's a pretty big turnaround from the position Montezuma was attempting to establish. And yeah, space would have been cool, but that works too. So let's end turn. Ah, oh, it gave me domination instead of conquest. Oh well, it was both. We'll watch the replay. A little bit of a fun forum game. I might start recording the next one right away. There's a new one out. So yeah. Actually, I'm going to stop this here. I'll show you guys, and uh, I'll get there eventually. Um, probably be like, a, I don't know, I might I might run all these that I'm doing concurrently and just have one major LP that I do otherwise. That way I'll always have like two or three videos going up. But um, the next Monarch student game came out, and it is Charlemagne. So a little bit harder. I'll be playing this game on Immortal. But yeah, I'll talk more about the start and everything there. We'll uh, we'll finish. We'll continue on with the replay here. Um, not the most carefully microed game, but I warned you guys at the video start that it was going to be like that. And 
uh, really not a whole lot to say about the tanks and bombers and nukes. Um, I don't think you guys have seen me use bombers on YouTube before, but you've certainly seen me use nukes. And um, really, I was completely dominating in tech, and that really helped out against the massive uh, numerical advantage that I had while fighting four people, no, five people at once. But I got the job done there. Uh, pretty fun, pretty fun. Um, I think the most valuable thing to take away from this game is to abuse the hill cities for early defenses if you can get them because that really screws up AI attacking forces. Uh, you just watched me wall the heck out of everybody coming after me from the western side. I mean, they were kind of pathetic forces, but five longbows, man, that would kill like 15 units plus just by itself, uh, maybe more, just depending on your luck. So, I, I was, you know, once I had feudalism and traded for feudalism, I was set. You know, really no problem at all. And we'll have a final look at the statistics. Score is looking good. Um, power should be pretty comical for the Aztecs. Yeah, they dropped like a rock. And, uh, yeah, see ya and goodbye. So that's fun. Um, probably even ahead in, like, culture because I killed everybody who was beating me. Yeah, I did. Uh, demographics, number one across the board except for life expectancy, that's tied into health, and since I industrialized and no one else ever really managed to do that, I'm not going to be leading in health. And exports and imports is bugged, I, you know, because I'm the largest empire, I'm going to be last there, other than the empires who are dead, of course. And, uh, yeah, just look at these GNP leads, eight times the production of my best rival at the end of the game, uh, several times over on food, and like I pointed out early, dominating soldiers. Top five cities in the world. Now a lot of them are English, just by virtue of eliminating competition. Um, this city retained. This is based on culture, by the way. So uh, by capturing enemy capitals or you know nuking or whatever, you can you can slow down people or get some better culture. Uh, Coventry actually turned out to be a pretty good uh, hammer city for a cottage site. That's for sure. And York was actually number one. Probably in part due to Broadway, but yeah, I own most of the World Wonders by the end, if only because I captured them. And a little bit look at the statistics. We'll see what I built and what I killed and lost. Um, built 124 tanks. Not my most spammy game. I've had games where I built like 300 infantry or like 200 nukes or something. But eh, it, it, tanks are pretty efficient about this. Lost 39 tanks against Renaissance units, but most of those were lost in that first fight against Montezuma. After that, I didn't lose a whole lot. Lost a decent chunk of infantry attacking through uh, without any support against the uh, Roman lands. Uh, no bombers lost. A couple archers lost in my early war, but nothing serious. 14 ICPMs built in that short time. That's not too bad. Um, let's see, total what I lost. I lost um, 49. The workers, I'm not counting those. That's BS. Uh, 53. Uh, our warriors were lost to barbs. Um, 55, 6, 7 units, and uh, checking out the kills, a lot, I killed a lot, we'll go with that, I mean probably over 500 units there it looks like, roughly, yeah at least over 500 to you know around 50, so almost 10 to 1, and you can just get a look at the things I built towards the bottom here. But obviously granaries are going to be near the top, although I captured a lot. Factories, coal plants, uh, forges, because I, I industrialized to hammer out a bunch of tanks. A uh, pretty good game. A little bit slow in terms of the finish date, just because I like fighting with tanks so much. But overall, a uh, fun forum game, and it's one that I usually just post it in the forums. But And yes, I understand the criticism. People think that forum games are like your mafia whatevers, or you know, games played exclusively through the forum, and that's true. But this is a game that's played on the forum in Strategy and Tips that you can see, and so I'm going to call it a forum game. That's not the standard meaning, I understand that, but I think it's the shortest way to communicate to you guys that I'm playing a game that's on the Civilization Fanatics forums, so, so therefore it is a forum game. If, if only because it is a different kind of forum game than you know other things you might see, but it's still a forum game. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be posting more of these to YouTube as opposed to simply taking screenshots and updating. It doesn't seem to slow me down too much to cast the videos. Maybe I lost about a half hour um, bringing this to YouTube, and uh, that's really not that bad. So, yeah, I mean, usually I'd finish around 2.30-ish, maybe a little bit higher for a game like this. 
Uh, so it doesn't take too much longer to uh, record the videos. And since I'm not doing any editing for this kind of thing, it really doesn't take too much time. So yeah, I'll bring you guys more videos. Anyway, that will conclude this particular Let's Play with Elizabeth of England. Or Ben 10 isn't awesome if you were. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you don't. And the mean team signing off. I will see you in the next LP.